I've had the opportunity to do some amazing sessions with people. And through their sessions and their feedback afterwards, I get to know what I've done for people as far as help them. So I wanted to kind of let you guys know that when I say things about, oh, I can, I can do this for you, I can do that for you, it's because I've had clients go to the doctor, have, have um, CAT scans or MRIs, whatever you call them, see the issues in their body, and then after they have the session, go back and see a shift in the MRIs. There was this one case of this client that would come to me a lot. She had regular sessions with me. She was pretty healthy and lived an alternative life. She was pretty healthy. So it was really alarming. She came to me one night and she said she had an MRI and she has all these fibroid cysts. Her whole pelvic bowl was covered with, with fibroid cysts where there was none before. So we did an emergency session. And I never know what's going to come up when it's a first-time issue with someone. So I didn't know what was causing it, but of course I'm going to try, to try and help her. So when I tuned into her, what came up was she had this friend, and this friend was dumping on her. This friend was going through turmoil and using my client as a sounding board, but, and my, my friend who knew better than to like take on people's issues was being ego stroked. And a lot of you get ego stroked and you allow people to dump on you by, by using this tactic. They stroke your ego. Think about the people who stroke your ego and what they get out of it. And this woman was saying, oh, you're the only friend. You're the best friend. You're the most wonderful person. Nobody is as wonderful as you are. And all the time she's, she's stroking her ego. She's opening up pockets in this woman's energy and making this woman feel good. My client, she was making my client feel good. And she was dumping, dumping all her horrific trauma and issues. Now, this woman enjoyed the trauma in a sense, meaning she loved that level of drama. Her ego loved that level of drama. But it was getting to the point where it was too much for her, so she knew energetically to open up my client with, with praise and ego stroking. She dumped all her crap into her. So, as soon as I discovered the core issue, we did the energetic cleanse with this woman. And, I t I, and what happens in the energetic cleanse is she's going to remove all her connections to this woman, remove all the claws that the woman has in her, take back whatever this woman took from her by stroking her ego, close all the portals to this woman, and give back to the woman all that she has dumped on her. Give it back to her if she needs it. There's two ways of looking at it. Either you can just get rid of the energy they've dumped on you, but if they need their energy back to learn not to do that to others, you can pour it right back onto them. So it's a choice on how you look at it. And this is where freedom of choice comes in. This is freedom of choice. Do I just get rid of what they've dumped on me, or do I give it back to her to let her know not to do this to someone else. So that's freedom of choice. In the spiritual sense, that's freedom of choice. And when you get to do the work to this degree, you'll have the ethics to be able to do it, what's important. Instead of sending it back just to punish her or you're angry with her, no, you wouldn't do that. But it's if she can learn from that, then that's what you do. So you remove all the portals this woman has in you, all the hooks she has into you. you. You recant all vows and agreements with this person. Maybe in a past lifetime you agreed to take on this load for her. But that's not now. You have to recant that vow. 
So this is what happens in the energetic cleanse. If you guys are not using the energetic cleanse every day, then you're missing the opportunity of why you incarnated here. It's that simple. So we did all that work with her, and then outwardly she had to do something that she had trouble with. She had to shut down her relationship with her. So she argued with me, the client argued with me that she couldn't abandon this woman. But that's what this woman was relying on, is this woman that the client would feel so obligated to listen to her that she would just sit there and take all this shit in and become diseased. So I, I talked her through it and I said, you know, this is your spiritual test. Are you strong enough? Are you strong enough to stop being polite to this woman? She's, she's relying on you having issues of abandonment where you don't want her to abandon you and you won't abandon her. She's depending on that. So once I made her understand that, her physical discipline was to close the door to that woman's dumping. Now she couldn't do it all at once. She would talk to the woman, and you know what happened? Once she recognized the core issue and how her ego was being stroked, once she realized that this woman was using her, she could see at a higher vantage point, what I call perceiving an energy, she could see the dynamics where this woman was actually preying on her. Now, this woman might not have known it consciously, but on some level, this woman was seeking her out. She scanned her and knew she was vulnerable to this issue of needing her ego stroke to be empowered. And she latched on. See, those energetic vampires know what your weaknesses are. They know how to get you to open up your energy to them, and then they latch on. And once they latch on, you lose your discernment. You can't raise vantage point from them because they're latched on. So what we do in a private session is we blast them off like barnacles, just sandblast them off with divine love. Help you raise the vantage point and get your sovereignty back. And then your work is to not fall for it again. See? So what happened with that client, because she had worked with me so much, she knew the dynamics of what was going on. And what she, what she did is kind of like closed, she closed the, the door to that woman because the health scare, health scare in herself was so severe. You know what happened when she went back to it for her next MRI? All those fibroid tumors that were showing up as energy had how faded or totally disappeared. And that's how you see the cause and effect of the work we do. And so now I use that session is training for other sessions, and I know how to handle things better through every session I've done. So your session is done on the backs of thousands of other clients who have sat and allowed me to hone my skills to do what I do and to be such a fucking badass in energy that I am today. Now, you can blow off doing a session with me and go get a reading or go get this or go get that. Any reading that's going to entertain you out there, you're going to get in a session with me unfiltered. And I, it's true, I won't blow smoke up your ass. Because when we're in a private session together, we are adept to adept. I'm talking to you in higher energy. The very fact that we're doing a session together is your validation of how empowered you are. I won't blow smoke up your ass. And I won't dumb down a session just to 
placate the ego. Sometimes it's confronting, but the freedom beyond that is so incredible. Ask anyone who keeps showing up for private sessions for me, with me. And that's what's offered here. And once you have your sessions, nobody, nobody is going to be able to dupe you again. Nobody. That's what's offered here.